Hello and welcome to Tampa Tech Review's overview video of the ASUS G75 model VWBB5K. This is the Best Buy version of the ASUS G75 and we're going to show you a little bit about the computer and also do a boot up test at the end just so you can see uh, the modifications that we made and how fast it uh, actually boots up in the end. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to discuss the outside. Uh, if you look at the G75, what you'll see is uh, the outside has this very nice black uh, sort of a rubberized coating on it. Uh, it's very nice. It's got uh, two hinge design for the actual screen. Uh, it's a 17 inch laptop, uh, but it's actually a little bit smaller than the G74 that it replaces. This particular ASUS G75 model is equipped with Intel's third generation Core i7-3610 quad mobile Ivy Bridge processor which features 6 megabytes L3 cache and 2.3 gigahertz processor speed with turbo boost up to 3.3 gigahertz. It had 8 gigabytes of RAM installed from the factory and it's expandable up to 16 gigabytes of total RAM. I have an 8 gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance that I'm going to throw in it. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Once I do, I'll make another video and show you the differences. Um, this model came with a 1 terabyte Seagate 5400 RPM hard drive. Um, and also it has an NVIDIA GTX 660M graphics card which has 2 gigabytes of dedicated graphics memory and it's got a battery life of about 4 hours and 36 minutes so that's some of the general information about this particular laptop as far as dimensions go it's 16.3 inches wide it's about two inches tall at its highest point, which is back here near the back. It's got a depth of 12.6 inches, and it weighs about 9.2 pounds. Located on the left side of the machine, you have two USB 3.0 ports here at the back. You've got your multi-DVD reader here in the middle. You've got your SD card slot here, and right in front of that, you've got your microphone port and then you've got your headphone port in front of that at the very front. So on the right hand side of the laptop you have two more USB 3.0 ports. You have your Thunderbolt port, you have your HDMI port, you have your RJ45 Ethernet connector port, you got your VGA connector for connecting to external monitor, and you have your power port located near the rear. You got your two big exhaust ports back here on the rear of the computer. Uh, they kind of resemble, you know, the afterburner style uh, exhaust ports on an aircraft. Uh, you also have another Republic of Gamers logo here, and you've got your Kensington lock port here. On the front of the ASUS G75, located on the lower left, these are going to be your operating lights. Uh, you're going to have lights down here for things such as your drives that are spinning and uh, wireless and battery and so on. This is a bottom view of the ASUS G75. Located up here you have your battery. Uh, located down here you have your subwoofer. Behind this panel is one of your fans. The other fan is located up here in this top corner. Behind this panel here uh, also behind this panel on this side is one of, your, one of your hard drives and then you have your other hard drive here and also uh, to expand your RAM uh, you put that in underneath here as well if you're going to take this piece out you take out this one screw and you have to pry this panel up you just have to be careful when you take this off that you don't break any of the clips so now that we have the laptop open let's discuss some of the design features of the ASUS G75 it's got a 1 megapixel webcam located up here at the top. As you can see, it's got a rather large screen. This screen is 17.3 inches wide and it's a matte finish. 
so you're not going to be bombarded with a bunch of glare. Uh, that's pretty nice. Most uh, laptops are going to that nowadays. Uh, you've got this really slick looking uh, aluminum and this is actually aluminum, it's not plastic. Uh, so that's really nice. It's got a nice trackpad down here. Feels, you know, really good. And the buttons, they don't make a bunch of noise. You know, they feel pretty solid. Build quality overall looks really good on this machine. Uh, it's got a chiclet style keyboard. The keys feel really good to the touch. Uh, it's also backlit. The keyboard has also got a soft white lighting. Uh, so if you're using it in a dorm room or somewhere where you know there may not be a whole lot of lighting, that's a nice touch. It's not uh, anything that's too out there or you know any weird colors. Like I said, that nice soft white lighting uh, looks really good, and I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, of course, you got your power button located over here, and then you got the other button located next to it where you can change the performance settings. Um, so that's nice as well. Uh, but overall, you know, build quality is very nice and it's a really slick looking machine. Okay, so now we're going to turn it on and we're going to check out uh, boot times. Uh, and this is going to be just straight off the battery, not plugged into the wall. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It was fairly quick. I do have a lot of stuff on this computer, um, but overall, you know, I, I think that was pretty decent. Now I'm going to tell you what comes included in the box with this computer. Uh, as you can see, you do get the ASUS 17.3 inch laptop, which does come with 8 gigabytes of RAM installed from the factory. It does have a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. Uh, this is, of course, the Best Buy version, so that's why it has the 5400 RPM drive. It does have two drive bays, uh, but it does come stock with one drive bay filled, and the other one is empty if you want to upgrade it and add additional things to it, as I have done to this one. Also, what you'll notice is you've got your You've got an 8-cell lithium battery, which is in the computer now. You've got a 150-watt AC adapter, and here's the power cord that plugs into that. The software that's preloaded is Adobe Reader and Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium Edition, 64-bit, as well as some other software that comes uh, that's Asus or Asus factory software. So that's what comes in the box as well as an owner's manual. As I mentioned earlier, this computer does have two hard drive bays. Um, this particular model from the factory, the Best Buy version, comes with a Seagate 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive. And I knew I was going to use this computer to run all Creative Suite applications and do video editing with it and such. So I wanted to make sure I had something that was fast enough to do what I wanted to do. And I didn't think the 5400 RPM drive was going to be quite fast enough for what I wanted. So what I did was I moved that from my primary drive to my secondary drive. And for my primary drive, I bought an OCZ Vertex 3 240 gigabyte solid state drive. So this is actually what I have as my main drive and I loaded all the software back up on it and the Windows Experience Index Score uh, went up significantly because of that. So, um, like I said, you know, this is a really good solid state drive to have, and that's what I'm running now. I also plan to upgrade the RAM uh, so that I can max it out to its full capabilities of 16 gigabytes. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM in it currently. Uh, so what I plan to put in it is uh, this 8 gigabyte kit, uh, it's Corsair Vengeance, so it's 1600 megahertz which is 
what the RAM is in this particular model. So um, this is what I'm planning to put in it. Uh, I bought a 8 gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance to put in it before and uh, it it just wouldn't run it so uh, I think I got a bad set of RAM so I uh, sent it back and got this in the mail the other day so uh, in the next day or two I'll probably put this in there and see if it fires up and see if it'll work. If not then I'll probably end up getting Kingston or something else to try to put in it to see if it'll work but I, I do plan on maxing it out to the full 16 gigs of RAM. So now I'm going to turn off the lights and try to see if we can capture uh, the backlighting on the keyboard so you can see what that looks like. Like I said, it's a uh, soft white backlighting on the keyboard. Um, you can see everything pretty well, so uh, it's not like a like several of the other computers out there that have multiple colors that you can switch from. Uh, white is the only color that it has, but I think that looks really good, and it kind of matches with everything else, you know, about the machine. So uh, I'm fine with it. I like it. I think it's going to work out pretty good. So now let's see if we can pull up the Windows Performance Index and I'll show you what's uh, different since it's got the solid state drive in it uh, versus just the uh, 5400 RPM drive. So now that we're here, uh, you can see uh, calculations per second, it's uh, 7.6, memory operations per second, 7.9. So, you know, memory is uh, maxed out already, even though it's only got 8 gigs in it. Um, desktop performance for Windows Arrow, 7.3, 3D business gaming and graphics, 7.3, and uh, disk data transfer rate, it's maxed out at 7.9. So. Like I said, uh, when I got it, the primary hard disk, I believe it was uh, at 5.8. Uh, so just by putting the uh, solid state drive in it, it went up to 7.9. Calculations per second, uh, I don't recall if that changed or not. If it did, maybe just a tenth or two. Um, memory operations per second, I think that was pretty high. It might have went up slightly, uh, but as far as the the graphics and the gaming graphics that's pretty much limited to uh, the graphics card that's in it and it does have an NVIDIA 660M uh, so maybe if it had a little bit bigger graphics card you can max those out um, but for what I'm going to do with it I think it's going to work just fine now we're going to see how long it takes to power down Pretty quick. Okay guys, that's it for our overview of the G75. We thank you for watching this overview and boot up of the new ASUS G75 laptop. This is a great machine and after we play with it for a while we may do a few more videos on it in the near future. If you have any questions or comments about this laptop, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you are interested in the latest tech products and software, subscribe to our channel on YouTube to follow us and stay up to date on each new video we post. Again, thanks for watching.